Hi, welcome to MindBlend. Ever wondered if someone was trying to manipulate you without you even realizing it? It's a more common occurrence than you might think. Today we'll be taking a deep dive into the world of manipulation and, more importantly, how you can become immune to it. So buckle up and get ready for a journey into the mind's less traveled pathways. But before we delve into the matter, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. You see, manipulation isn't just a plot twist in your favorite thriller movie. It's a subtle art, a psychological game that many play in their day-to-day -day lives. It takes different shapes and forms, from the seemingly harmless persuasive tactics to the more sinister, coercive methods. Manipulation can be as simple as a friend coaxing you into doing something you'd rather not, or as complex as a high-stakes negotiation where power dynamics come into play. The effects of manipulation are far-reaching, influencing our relationships, our decisions, and ultimately, our lives. It can leave us feeling confused, exploited, and even deceived. It's the puppeteer pulling strings behind the scenes, dictating our actions without us even realizing it. Understanding manipulation is the first step towards immunizing ourselves against it. Recognizing the signs, the tactics, and the manipulator's objectives is crucial in protecting our interests and autonomy. Now that we know what we're up against, let's explore the techniques to become manipulation-proof. Firstly, awareness is your best defense against manipulation. It's the beacon of light that can guide you through the fog of deceit. It all starts with understanding your own feelings, thoughts, and actions. Are you acting out of free will, or are you being influenced by someone else's agenda? Are your decisions truly yours, or are they the result of someone else's influence? Self-awareness is the key to answering these questions. It's like a personal radar system that helps you detect manipulation in its early stages. When you're aware of your feelings and thoughts, you can better understand if they are genuinely yours or if they're being influenced by external factors. This awareness extends to recognizing the tactics manipulators use. Subtle guilt trips, playing the victim, or even flattery can be tools in their arsenal. So, keep your eyes open and your mind alert. Awareness isn't just about seeing, it's about understanding, and that understanding is your shield against manipulation. Secondly, critical thinking is a powerful tool against manipulation. Now, what is critical thinking, you ask? It's not about being a cynic or doubting everything, but rather it's about questioning things in a constructive way. It's about evaluating information, examining motives, and understanding the context. Imagine you're being told a story. Instead of taking it at face value, engage your critical thinking. Ask yourself, who benefits from this story? What's the motive behind it? Is there evidence to support it? This process helps you to see beyond the surface to understand the bigger picture. Critical thinking allows you to distinguish between manipulation and genuine interaction. It encourages you to question, to challenge, to explore. It's not about being difficult or contrarian, but about seeking truth and understanding. So the next time you're presented with information, don't just accept it. Question it. Analyze it. Understand it. Remember, question everything. Thirdly, clear and assertive communication can be a game changer. It's an art that, when mastered, can protect you from falling into the trap of manipulation. It's all about expressing your thoughts and feelings openly and honestly. Imagine you're in a situation where someone is trying to influence you. Instead of remaining silent, take a stand. Articulate your perspective clearly. This doesn't mean you have to be aggressive or confrontational. It's about being firm and respectful. Assertive communication also involves active listening. It's about understanding the other person's point of view but not letting it overshadow your own. This balance of speaking and listening can prevent you from becoming a puppet in someone else's hands. Remember, manipulators thrive on ambiguity and confusion. By expressing yourself clearly, you're removing their leverage. You're showing them that you're not an easy target. You're an individual with your own thoughts, feelings, and opinions. So speak up and make your voice heard. Fourthly, setting boundaries is essential. Boundaries are like invisible lines around your emotional landscape, delineating what you will and won't accept. They are the guardians of your self-respect, your personal space, and your peace of mind. They're not walls, they're not barriers, but simply markers of your self-value. Setting clear and firm boundaries can serve as a strong defense against manipulation. It's about knowing what you're comfortable with, what you're not, and being able to express that assertively. By doing so, you're sending a clear message to potential manipulators that you're aware of your worth and you won't tolerate being treated less than you deserve. Remember, 
It's not just about setting these boundaries, but maintaining them too. It's easy to bend the rules for people we care about, but that's when we're most vulnerable to manipulation. Be firm, be consistent, and don't let anyone cross those lines without your permission. Thus, know your limits and stick to them. Fifthly, self-confidence is your shield against manipulation. It's a powerful tool that can make you less susceptible to manipulation tactics. Why? Because when you have self-confidence, you believe in your own abilities and judgments. You don't rely on others to validate your worth or decisions. Instead, you trust your own instincts. When you're confident, you're not easily swayed by others' opinions or attempts to control your actions. You're able to stand your ground because you know your value and you don't need anyone else to define it for you. Self-confidence doesn't mean you're always right, but it means you're comfortable with being wrong. You're open to learning and growing, which makes it harder for manipulators to exploit your insecurities. In essence, self-confidence minimizes the power manipulators can have over you. It's your personal fortress, protecting you from the onslaught of manipulation tactics. So believe in yourself and your judgments. To sum up, becoming manipulation-proof is all about self-awareness, critical thinking, communication, setting boundaries, and self-confidence. Let's take a quick tour back through our key points. Our first stop is self-awareness. By recognizing our own emotions, we can identify when someone is trying to manipulate our feelings to their advantage. It's about understanding our strengths, weaknesses, and triggers. This knowledge is power the power to control our reactions and not let others control us. Our next point of interest is critical thinking. By questioning what we hear, we can discern the truth from the lies. This isn't about doubting everyone, but rather, it's about not accepting everything at face value. It's about asking the right questions and seeking evidence before making decisions or forming beliefs. Moving forward, we arrive at communication. Expressing our thoughts and feelings openly and honestly is a powerful tool against manipulation. By being assertive, we can set the record straight and prevent misunderstandings. Communication is not just about speaking, it's about listening too. By understanding others, we can spot when they're being sincere or when they're trying to manipulate us. Next, we come to setting boundaries. By defining what is acceptable behavior and what is not, we can prevent others from taking advantage of us. Boundaries are not walls to keep people out, they're guidelines to ensure healthy relationships. They're about respect for ourselves and for others. Finally, we reach self-confidence. By believing in ourselves, we can stand up to manipulation. Confidence is not arrogance. It's the belief in our ability to make the right decisions. It's about knowing our worth and not letting others undermine it. Each of these elements, self-awareness, critical thinking, communication, setting boundaries, and self-confidence, work together, forming a robust shield against manipulation. It's about empowering ourselves to take control of our lives and our relationships. Becoming manipulation-proof doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey, a process of growth and learning. But with each step, we become stronger, more resilient. Share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. And remember, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you found it helpful. Stay tuned for more insightful content from MindBlend.